So this is one of the uh, more creative ways of uh, traffic calming. See, we have a nice uh, cobblestone street here, but we uh, have the bike parking out in the street, creating chicanes, making this a uh, very traffic calm, very comfortable environment here. It's one way uh, motor vehicle traffic the other way, and then uh, for our direction, um, people on bikes can go either direction. And you can see how this works. Traffic calming. Got some planters in here as well as the bike parking. Makes for a very comfortable environment here. Get the motor vehicle drivers slowing down. Got the workers wheeling pallets down the middle of the street. Pretty, uh, pretty comfortable actually. Now we're coming up to an intersection of a, looks like a pedestrian only street up here. Got a bunch of deliveries going on at the moment. So it does say uh, self cyclist, which means except for the cyclists. So we can actually roll through. Obviously, as it's, since it is a pedestrian only area, you wanna go through quite slowly and carefully. Pretty major traffic calming hump right here. And we've got the bleed. This looks like this is mostly construction stuff. I wasn't sure if there was an event going on. These guys are actually doing some repair to the stones. So you can see the work laying those stones in place. And recently laid stones. Needing to put the sand and gravel around. Absolutely beautiful if you can look at the design on the, uh, the stones here. It creates quite the, the fun mosaic patterns. A little street here, shared use, slow street. And again, one way for motor vehicle traffic the other way. Bikes can come through here. You see how slowly this guy proceeds. Not so much. You can definitely uh, get a sense that they accelerate much more dramatically compared to the Netherlands. Much more aggressive drivers. And we did have a, a green light there being able to get across that intersection.
So there you go. That's just the first little bit of video out from the hotel. <laughs> Simultaneously pretty wild and pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get my bearings here and go uh, see what else we can find. I think we've got a major uh, monument right ahead of me. All right, again, we're just uh, a couple blocks away from my hotel, checking out the streets, and I'm seeing a pretty major uh, monument here. Really had no clue what I would be near. I'm in the second Mont. Probably, I'm not pronouncing that correctly. My French teacher would be ashamed. But, here we are. So, let's go check out what this is all about. From a car traffic perspective, it's a mess. <laughs> That's for sure. The horns. Boulevard Saint Denis and Strasbourg. <laughs> it's pretty funny how they think that they are actually being uh, productive with the horn. Maybe, just a little bit, not much. So essentially the monument here is just uh, the Porte de Saint Denis. So that's what that's all about. Pretty impressive, never seen that before. Okay, let's get away from uh, all these cars. This is just a really good commentary on why motor vehicles just should not even be allowed in cities. There's just no room for them. There's no space for them. They're loud. They're noisy. They're polluting. Just, yeah. No need. Kick them out. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're just on a side street, one street away from uh, the Porta de Saint Denis. And uh, let's go down this way. I have no idea where I'm going, really. Just get to a major street and we'll turn right. See if we can get down to the Rue de Ravali. And we see a pretty major two-way cycle track here. you have to really do is take a look at the traffic that's just jammed up next to us and the constant flow of cyclists here to get a real good sense as to how much more effective it is to get around by bike than it is driving. I really don't understand why anybody is driving. It just does not make any sense. And again, it's just a travesty that motor vehicles are even allowed in cities. They're just a disaster all the way around.
so <laughs> if you guys caught any of that right there it is definitely not the same rhythm as the Netherlands when you have so many cars in place so many motor vehicles and uh, just the crush of people they're really just trying to do what they can to get around and uh, even people on bikes are just taking quick actions the pace is different too everybody's like trying to push hard to get places just because of that pressure of the traffic around them so it's definitely a much more frenetic rhythm than we're used to the sense that that uh, lineup of police were uh, deploying to get down to deal with that traffic <laughs> at least that's my belief So, this is our famous street that uh, went through a major road diet and uh, we see the transformation now. There is only one lane of motor vehicle traffic going in one direction. Then we have these two massive lanes for people riding bikes and uh, it's really quite extraordinary. So. I'm stopped here at a red light. I really don't see the need, but I stopped anyways just to talk. And you can get a sense as to the neighborhoods around us. There you go. That's what, where a car should go on the backs of trucks towed away. Okay, here we go. Down the Rue de Rivoli. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.